Well, Russia is gearing up to treat cancer patients with what could become one of the world's first personalized mRNA cancer vaccines, a treatment tailored to each patient's unique tumor. The announcement marks a key moment in what's shaping up to be a global race to beat cancer using next-gen technology. According to Russian news outlets, Russia's first patients could begin receiving the newly manufactured, newly developed cancer vaccine within the next few months. The breakthrough drug is a personalized AI-assisted mRNA-based vaccine that has been designed to target malignant tumors using the patient's own genetic data. Russia's Gamalia Center is responsible for making the vaccine, while patient trials will be conducted by the partnering clinics. Alexander Ginsberg, the director of the Gamalia Research Institute, said that the experimental phase of administering the treatment will start in the coming months in cooperation with the two leading oncology institutions, which are the Herzen Research Institute and the Blockin Cancer Center in Moscow. The treatment works by training the patient's immune system to recognize tumor-specific proteins and then destroy the malignant cells throughout the body using cytotoxic lymphocytes. It is a type of white blood cell that plays a crucial role in the immune system by identifying and destroying infected or cancerous cells. Now, due to its uh, individualized nature, the cancer vaccine is subject to a unique regulatory framework adopted by the Russian government earlier this year. The vaccine, which was initially designed for melanoma patients, has now already shown promising results in animal trials and limited tests on human patients. The director previously stated that the entire procedure from analyzing the tumor to creating a tailored vaccine can be completed in about a week. And that's with the help of AI. The Gamalia Center, which created the world's first registered COVID-19 vaccine, the Sputnik V, is also currently developing models for treating other oncological diseases, including pancreatic, kidney and non-small cell lung cancer. Russia's health ministry estimates that there are around 4 million cancer patients in the country, with roughly 625,000 new cases diagnosed annually. The cancer vaccine could rather become a major milestone in Russia's public health strategy if it proves safe and effective during the upcoming trial phase. But Russia is not alone. Several other countries are racing to lead the future of cancer vaccines. To name some, the UK has its own nationwide cancer vaccine launch pad. And that's through its NHS. Trials for lung cancer in the UK are already underway. Meanwhile, in the US, over 700 clinical trials are in progress. Companies like Moderna and BioNTech are showing early success as well in treating pancreatic cancer. One vaccine helped half its test patients live beyond three years. Apart from UK and US, Germany's BioNTech is partnering with global hospitals to accelerate its autogene Sevomirin vaccine using mRNA to personalize shots and delay cancer recurrence. And in India, trials are underway for Serum Institute's indigenous uh, HPV cervical cancer vaccine, Cervavac. Well, cancer is the second leading cause of death worldwide with over 20 million new cases expected globally this year. So, of course, the race to personalize treatment is urgent. If successful, mRNA cancer vaccines could enter mainstream treatment within two to three years, turning a patient's own immune system into the most powerful medicine yet.